everyone. We're going to locate the absolute extremum of the function on the closed interval. This is a cosine function. And I first want to find any critical values that we might need to check for minimum and maximum. So derivative of cosine of um, uh, cosine is negative sine. Then you multiply it by the uh, derivative of your inner function, which is just going to be pi. So this is going to be, um, let's see, derivative of cosine is sine of pi x. Then you multiply it by pi. So just rewrite this. This is negative pi sine of x. Now, to find any critical values, you set this to 0. You divide both sides by negative pi. Uh, that just goes away. And um, x would be 0 because sine of 0 equals 0. Since we already have 0 as our left endpoint, um, we're not going to consider that. We're just going to consider our left endpoint and our right endpoint and plug those in. So we're going to go back to our original function here and plug in f of 0 and f of 1 6. So f of 0 is going to be cosine of 0. And cosine of 0 equals 1. So our point 0 comma 1, that's your left endpoint and your right endpoint. Plug in 1 6 and you get cosine of pi over 6. And cosine of pi over 6 is square root of 3 over 2. So we have 1 6 comma square root of 3 over 2. Now, our uh, bigger number is the 1, so that's going to be your maximum extremum, and your uh, smaller number is square root of 3 over 2, so that's going to be your minimum. And that's all. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.